Hello viewers, so today I am reading biology textbook, so let's get it. Here is our biology textbook. When opening it, we see the index. We are reading chapter 1, cell, structure and functions, page number 1. Guys, this is chapter 1, cell, structure and functions. Part 1. This is the first part of five parts of this lesson. Check out my other videos for other parts. Let's start. In the previous class, you have already learnt about cells and their structure. You also have learnt about discovery of the cell, its size and shape, and unicellular and multicellular organisms. Let us recall some of the activities related to these aspects. For example, Onion cells are nearly rectangular while the cheek cells are irregular in shape. Add other examples as one given above. Primarily, cells are studied under the microscope. When we observe the cell under a compound microscope, we can see some parts like cell wall, cytoplasm, nucleus, chloroplast and mitochondria. However, when the same cells are observed under the electron microscope, a few other structures are also visible. To study various cells, scientists have been trying to observe cells from the different parts of plants and animals, draw their structures, take photographs of them and make models of them. These have given valuable information about plant and animal cells. Here we will try to study the model diagram of cell. Typical cell all the arachnids shown in typical cell of plant or animal will not exist in every cell. For example, chloroplasts are always shown in a typical plant cell, yet all the plants do not have chloroplast. They are mostly found in cells of green leaves, tender stems, etc. The organelles that feature in most cells are included in this model. The typical cell provides a way to study cells. Once we arrive at a such model, we can compare any cells with it. Observe the given diagrams of typical plant and animal cells, figure 1 and 2. What common features do you see in both cells? Which cell organelles are found exclusively in plant cell? Compare the parts of plant and animal cells, note down the differences. Let us study the different parts of plants and animal cells. Cell Membrane or Plasma Membrane In your earlier classes, you have already studied that cell membrane is the covering of animal cell. In plant cell, there is another layer present over the cell membrane known as the cell wall. With the help of given activity, you will be able to see a cell membrane. Activity 1. Observing the cell membrane Take rio leaf, tear the leaf in single stroke, observe it against the light, Take a small piece of leaf peel with light colored transparent portion. Put it on slide and put a drop of water on it. Cover it with cover slip and observe the lighter portion of the leaf under the microscope. Draw the diagram of what you have seen. Now put 1-2 drops of dilute salt solution to the membrane and leave it for 5-10 to 10 minutes. For preparing salt solution, take 150 ml of water and dissolve 1 teaspoon of salt in it. Stir it well. Observe it under microscope. Draw your observations in your notebook. Compare the observations of both activities in figure 3a and 3b. Note down the differences. Can you guess the reason for the differences? Guys, this was chapter 1, Cell Structure and Functions, part 1. Please don't forget to check out the part 2, part 3, part 4 and part 5 of this chapter. Thank you for watching.